Now, here are your latest headlines and updated Kansas City forecast from KSHB 41 News. I'm Kevin Holmes. Here are your headlines for Wednesday, June 15th. Blue Springs schools will resume activities tomorrow after the district was one of several to close today in response to an unspecified threat against schools. So about 10 public and private schools canceled activities in response to a threat. Most announced Wednesday afternoon they would reopen. Late this evening, the Jackson County prosecutor announced the charge of making a terroristic threat against that suspect. Police say he's 19 year old Treshawn Hardrich, a former student of the Blue Springs School District. We're naming Hardrich today as charges were announced, but he will not be named in the future and we will not show his mugshot. Tomorrow, we'll learn if Kansas City will host matches in the 2026 FIFA World Cup. FIFA officials visited Kansas City last October. You know, landing this would be one of the biggest events Kansas City has ever drawn to the Metro. Games will be played in 10 cities across the U.S., Mexico, and Canada. 16 cities vying for the chance to host those matches. The Federal Reserve announced the largest interest rate hike in nearly 30 years. All is an effort to curb inflation. It will impact how much you pay back on a loan or your credit cards even. An increase of three quarters of a percentage point is the largest since 1994. Speaking of the 90s, yep. let's look at the temps with West Peary. Yeah, it's a hot day today. We got to the 90s and now we're juicing up the atmosphere to get some severe weather. In fact, a severe thunderstorm watched in effect until midnight with thunderstorms around the metro probably until 10. Damage and wind gusts, hail. Even a brief tornado, not out of the question, unfortunately. Here's the full super 10 day forecast and the 90s continue. In fact, it'll pretty much feel like it's near about 100 degrees for at least the next seven to 10 days with an excessive heat advisory in effect for your Thursday. And then some more thunderstorms are possible, especially across northern Missouri and northern Kansas overnight Thursday and into Friday morning with all sorts of severe weather on the table. You can get your news and weather anytime at KSHP.com.